This is the story about how visiting my nana's house every Monday evening turned into the foundation I use every single day to juggle life as a full-time doctor alongside being a YouTuber. From the ages of 14 to 16, every Monday evening I would go to my nana's house because this was the evening that my mum worked late as a school nurse. Now, as well as being the first and only place I have ever been served spam sandwiches is for my dinner, it was also where I was introduced to the wonderful world of trashy reality TV. Enter Bravo royalty, Miss Patty Stanger. There is a signature phrase this New Jersey woman uses to get single women from Miss to Mrs. However, for me, it got me from a Miss to a big fat DR. Non-negotiables. Non-negotiables. This is by no means your run of the mill, lukewarm, rather watch paint dry daily routine. I've made a little bit of a silly decision. Oh no, 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 no. This is a Bravo infused millionaire matchmaker daily non-negotiables. I was recently asked how, as a doctor with ADHD, I avoid the slippery, slippery slopes of phone addiction. And I have a full video on this if you're interested. However, a tip I did not incorporate on that list is categorically do not start the day by going on your phone. I aim to avoid my phone for the first hour after waking. If you get that cheap dopamine kick early on, you'll be far less inclined to seek out the tougher dopamine hits from delayed gratification later in the day, e.g. exercise, studying, or I don't know, just basically anything that benefits your life in any way, shape or form. There is a reason why AG1 has been an unmoving staple in my routine since November. Not only is it a comprehensive and convenient supplement with over 70 high quality ingredients in one simple scoop that supports physical and mental health and is so effortless, as I will demonstrate, just one scoop mixed with water every single day. Oh no, 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 no. I also look forward to the taste every single morning, which makes implementing it as a non-negotiable habit so much easier. If you were interested in trying AG1 for yourself, then go to drinkag1.com forward slash Faybay or scan the QR code to save 20% when you subscribe and you'll also receive a free one year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase which if you did not know guys the vast majority of the UK population are vitamin D deficient between the months of October and April so making sure you're taking a good quality vitamin D supplement is so important thank you so so much to AG1 for sponsoring today's video pop something on your story or tag me on Instagram and let me know if you love it as much as I do. Oh, well, good morning, my camcots. How are we feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. I've made a little bit of a silly decision and somehow think that I am super woman capable of spinning too many plates at once. One of my friends from medical school who I miss dearly because she is in Edinburgh, Scotland, said to me, Faye, Faye, I'm gonna sign up for this half marathon in March. Do you fancy it? And I just thought, do you know what? Miss the girl so much. Will be such a lovely opportunity to spend some quality time with her. Get fit, get outside, go for a run. Why not? Why not? Forgetting that training for a half marathon is actually a significant commitment. And like time isn't something that I have lots of. So anyway, shush, I sign up months and months and months ago. Do I start training? No. We get to two months beforehand. Am I training yet? No. Six weeks beforehand? No. Five weeks beforehand and I went, Faye, come on now, you're really, really, really pushing it. Like you need to start training. Do I start training? No. And then last week, after not running for years and years and years and years and years, I thought, yeah, why not just go straight in with the 10K? Finished the 10K and I'm like, that wasn't too bad. Like, I feel good. I feel invigorated. I feel like, okay, my pace was okay. Like, where the hell did that come from? Like, I haven't run in years. The next day I wake up and I feel like my legs have been put through a shredder. And actually that was four days ago and I haven't been able to run since. I haven't even been able to walk, to be honest. So I'm gonna be honest, the next one of my non-negotiables has clearly been a pretty negotiable thing over the past few weeks. But moving forward, it needs to be non-negotiable because otherwise I'm gonna injure myself very badly. Jay is 
Now obviously I have worked with AG1 before and if you watched the last video but you didn't get a chance to make most of the discount code then whoop de doo there's another one. I will pop it on screen now or in the description box if you just want to screenshot it save it for later go buy some now whatever it's it's there so you don't miss out. I have said before that as well as being a comprehensive and convenient supplement it also just gives me that little bit of motivation to eat a lot healthier because I feel as though I'm starting my day off really strong and as we all know the busier we get the more our nutrition slips and my AG1 just kind of keeps me on the straight and narrow. Right, <coughs> run time. There's ample evidence to suggest that regular exercise aids ADHD by affecting neurotransmitters, dopamine and norepinephrine, which play key roles in regulating the attention system. Now running is level H, and I have to admit my relationship with running is that I hate it whilst I am doing it, but love it when it's over. But another thing I love is that you don't need a gym or equipment, just a pair of trainers. As you can tell, my 10K that I did on Sunday was a little bit mucky, and I have not clean my trainers. Anyone who says they find running easy is lying. But what has helped me is having a buddy, taking a different route every time to keep the novelty and honestly romanticizing it as an opportunity to wear cute gym fits. so easy to be sucked into novel products but personally I like to not only stick to the products that work for me but also the products that are backed up by science like my salicylic acid shampoo or azelaic acid serum. I finally admitted to myself that I'm never going to be a minimalist but I do think we all have a role to play in tackling overconsumption not only for the environment but also for our bank balances and for me that fits into my life as if it ain't broke don't fix it. I don't get hungry in the morning and in the past when I've had a disordered relationship with food and my body I've used this as an excuse not to eat until lunch to the detriment of my mood, energy levels and appetite regulation in the later hours of the day. So after getting dressed and drying my hair a balanced breakfast before running out the door is always a non-negotiable. <laughs> Coming home after a busy day at work, I'm normally wrecked. So to tackle these negative feelings, at some point in the day, I message on my gratitude group chat where me and my best friends hold each other accountable. So we always make room for seeing the positive every single day. I can't lie, today it was really stressful. One of those days where I felt like I just didn't really have a moment to like breathe or felt like my mind was kind of working at like 100 miles an hour for like the entire day. Then I remembered I actually have not done one of my most important non-negotiables today slash for the past few days, which is very unlike me. And that is a brain dump. As much as a lot of the stress today was work work related. I think a lot of the stress over the past five days has been an accumulation of work work and when I mean work work I mean my work as a full-time doctor and when I say work lowercase italics I mean internet social media stuff but I think that it's just been a lot a lot of tabs open in my brain if i'm going to be completely honest and what i do quite like about busy day at work work is that the tabs relevant to social media close because there's no brain capacity in my mind left between nine to five but then when i come home i kind of don't feel like i can just sit and do nothing guilt-free and sometimes i do just sit and do nothing but the benefit isn't really had because i'm not doing it guilt-free in summary a brain dump is very much needed. <laughs> Ideally, I'd like to get this done in the morning for maximum effect, but always great before you intend on making a good crack at your to-do list. Think of it as like a daily deep clean out of your brain. You take anything and everything chaotically cluttering precious space in your brain and dump it on paper.
Another way I curb my phone addiction is trying to use the Forest app on my phone every single day for a minimum of 30 minutes to cut the cord and get out the habit of reaching for my phone every single time I'm bored. Another free alternative to the Forest app is called Flora. Even if I'm not trying to sit down and do some work, often I will still use Forest if I want to be fully present with spending time with loved ones. <laughs> Guys, I completely forgot to vlog my dinner but it's because it's my favorite dinner that dylan cooks and it is so so excuse me the music off i'll get copyrighted <laughs> it's my favorite dinner that dylan cooks and it's really like not that exciting it's even less exciting when i show you the pile of mush that is currently on my plate but dylan does the best chili in the entire world it's so good with a jack of potato and a little bit of Greek yogurt on. Absolutely rocks my world. It's phenomenal. And then normally he does like a massive, massive, massive portion and then freezes it. So I can have it whenever I want. Wow. There is one thing I want you to take away from this video is that anyone can benefit from outsourcing. Outsourcing is not reserved to the CEOs and billionaires of the world. It is a crucial tool we could all incorporate into our life to free up more time for what we love and ultimately for tasks to be completed at a greater standard than what we would complete them at. We can't all expect ourselves to be highly skilled at every skill under the sun and sometimes it is just a better option for someone else who is better than you to do it for you. I am to dedicate at least 30 minutes every day with a hot chocolate by my side to delegating and outsourcing tasks because it allows me to maintain my Hannah Montana double life working full-time as a doctor and continue this life online on the side. You may or may not have noticed that for the first 30 minutes after waking, I turn every light possible on to physiologically blind my body into awake mode. And conversely, as soon as I get back from work, there are no big lights allowed, hence brushing my teeth with just the mirror light on. I also always open my window before bed to cool my bedroom and use my sunset lamp to ease my body into a peaceful slumber. I have a problematic tendency to stay up all night finishing a good novel and self-help books before bed make me feel anxious and like I can sleep when I'm dead. No, this is not healthy, but some pretty dull non-fiction, my eyes will be shut within two pages. But finally, the most important of my non-negotiables. If one of these things does not happen, there is no use feeling guilty or regretful because guilt and regret only prevent us from getting straight back on the horse and back to a good routine. There will be workouts that we miss, days that aren't as productive, habits that fall through, but ultimately they should propel us forward and help us learn more about ourselves so that we can prevent them falling through in the future. If you enjoyed this video, then I will link my full millionaire matchmaker habit system video somewhere here or if you need a handy body double to help you get through your weekly cleaning chores or just to get ready for going out then i will leave a very 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 long vlog here like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next video